Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a two box break of 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. This is pick your team number two, all car chip. It is part of our current all break sold promo. Check out the details of that, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're giving away a lot of break credit. Also, if you bought a team, you got a chance at the Nationals, which means you get the Expos as well. You got a chance at Tom Brady's. So big thanks to everybody here for making this happen. Let's gather all of your names. So we've only sold 29 spots outright. New dice, new list. And the name on top, after seven, we'll get the Nationals. Four and a three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. And yeah, if you get the Nationals, yes, that also means you get a, uh, an extra entry into the promo. That'd be a good little parlay if you uh, got the extra entry, got the Nationals, got a ton. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, very close, but, but no cigar there. Michael down to Scott. Thank you very much, everyone, for giving this a shot. But there can be only one, and that's going to be Kime. Nice. After seven times, the Nationals are yours. Good luck. All right, now let's print out the list. Let's make it official. And as always, if you check our break schedule, that Nightbot just dropped in the chat. If you check our break schedule, we keep track of all the, uh, the, the names in the promo. If you ever see me miss a break, or like if it's like, hey, Joe, you didn't, you didn't fill in the names from this particular break for the promo, you know, definitely let me know. And I can double check that. All right, so there's the final printout, hot off the presses. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for hang, hanging with me on a hump day. Hump day! Chris ended up with Last Bot Mojo with the Brew Crew. Here's Kaim officially with the Nacionals. All right, so we only did two boxes from a fresh case, so let's see which one we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna take the die, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll do that stack. Four, one, two, three, four. Middle stack right here. These we'll save for some other time. Maybe we can run this back tonight. Stack those right there. And jumbo three autos per box. Let's see what we got in here. In terms of that promo, I feel like if we do a few, if we do a few promo breaks a night, we should easily be able to get this break credit promo across the finish line by Friday night. So we got we got plenty of time. Uh, but I feel a lot better if we didn't have to 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 rush to try to fill to fill that promo. In fact, we can technically fill it tonight if you want to, and then force Nick. Of course, uh, my colleague Nick to think up another promo. It's a little ambitious, but we can do it. Friday night is just the deadline. There's, if it happens sooner, we can do it sooner. The sharp play, I think, would be... Uh, Go to any of the pick your teams and just pick off the, the cheapest teams there. All right, good luck, everybody. There's a Wyatt Langford. Paper for the Rangers, that's for Scott. And an orange, Jacob Cravey, eight out of 25. Nice little color match there. Kime with the O's. Yeah. 
There's a chrome Wyatt Langford. Big hitting prospect there, fourth overall. There's a couple other prospects, a few other prospects that we're looking out for. Jacob Wilson for the A's. That's going to be for Joe. There's Matt Shaw for the Cubs. That's going to go to Greg. And there's Max Clark it's for Zach in Detroit. There's our first autograph, Jack Hurley. That's for Joseph and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Sounds like some sort of a surfing company. I feel like he should be working for a surfboard slash skate apparel company. Jacob Wilson, Matt Shaw, like these glass parallels. Matt Shaw, glass. There you go, Greg. Got a chrome Matt Shaw. And there's a chrome Jacob Wilson going to Joe and the A's. Nelson Rada. We got a speckled Christian Napsic, which is not numbered. All card shipped, though. Langford paper. Another Matt Shaw paper. Autograph Brandon Winokur. Nice. Um, who's got Minnesota? Allen has the Twins. 69, nice out of 150. The third round pick. Chrome Max Clark, paper Max Clark, paper Jacob Wilson. Paul Skeens, Chrome, and looks like Wyatt Langford, yeah. Mood Ring, Wyatt Langford. These are our shorter prints. I don't think they are maybe a couple a case or something like that. Especially one of the top prospects here, too, is pretty nice. Texas, Scott with the Rangers. Paul Skeens going to go to uh, Chris and the Pirates. Colt Emerson for Seattle. That's also for Scott. Some paper. We got a Jake Cunningham. He's a Cunningham. 44 out of 75. Watch out for that, Ann. It's cunning. It's going to go to Kime and the Orioles.
Eric Spolstra, eight year, $120 million extension. His seat is not hot. He'll be fine for a while. Paul Skeens, uh, Chris and the Pirates paper. Let's see if we can find some of his ink. Hey, or this. Out of 199, Paul Skeens paper. That's nice. Take that. Number one overall pick. It's supposed to be the real deal. Looked good in the uh, Cald World Series. Cole Miller, the sky blue, not numbered. And we got Brock Vradenberg. Dust there, there you go. Brock Vradenberg going to the Marlins Allen with Miami. For an insert. That's one of these Max Clark draft cards here. All right, that was box one. Not bad. Box two coming up. <coughs> Another two box break loaded up. That next two box break is also part of this week's promo. Kind of, kind of quiet on the baseball front. Cubs ended up signing the, uh, I guess the third best Japanese pitcher on the free agent market, behind Otani and Yamamoto. Imanaga. Went to the Cubs. Do we have any more details here? Jesse Rogers of ESPN reporting that that Imanaga will actually be guaranteed $53 million over four seasons. The team will have an option. After the second and third years, the team will have an option that could push the guarantee to $80 million over five years. So some club options there. That doesn't seem like a bad price there. Otherwise, pretty quiet. Uh, I think Blake Snell is still a free agent. Josh Hader is still a free agent. Cody Bellinger has not been signed. No major trades have been made. Some players avoiding arbitration. I guess, I guess there's that. I mean... Pitchers and catchers are going to start to report before we know it. There'll be some, some spring training games played in anger at some point as well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I guess so now, we're, now we're seeing who's blinking first, right? I feel like guys like, uh, guys like Cody Bellinger, Josh Hader, kind of want long deals. I don't, know if, I don't know if closers traditionally get longer deals. Here's some yellow lunar, 5 out of 75. Dylan Questad going to uh, Allen and the Twins. You know, maybe people aren't quite sold on the, on the Cody Bellinger comeback. Maybe he's asking for a little more than teams are comfortable with. We'll see if he settles for a shorter deal. There's Enrique Bradfield Jr. to 199. That's for the Orioles. That's for Kime. Let's see if guys like Cody Bellinger, you know, end up with a shorter deal. Maybe at a higher average annual value, which teams like to do these days. Or if someone actually gives him the big deal that he wants.
Mariners could use some hitting. I know that stadium kind of saps like power numbers, you know, from uh, from hitters. But Bellinger hits well enough and is speedy enough. And he'd rack up a lot of doubles, a lot of extra bases. There's Jake Cunningham, another, uh, this time an auto for this Cunningham going to Kime. Nice. What's up, Chris? Hater. What about Josh Hader? For the Dodgers? I wouldn't mind a Josh Hader on the Dodgers if he wants to sign like a, a short deal, two or three year deal. I wouldn't be opposed to uh, your nice Jacob Wilson glass. Could end up with the Dodgers. It's interesting. Not on a long-term deal, I don't think. Can't imagine the Dodger would do that. If oh, if he doesn't get the long-term deal, all right, we're on the same page. This Jacob Wilson Glass going to Joseph in the A's. There you go, Joe. I like the idea of the Dodgers making some trades. They got a lot of. They got a lot of top prospects in their farm system. They're all not gonna, all of them aren't gonna make it to the big club, or maybe not get enough regular playing time to reach their full potential. The Dean uh, George, Jorge, 306 out of 499. And there's a Homer Bush Jr. to 250. I think we were talking about this yesterday. I like the idea of the Dodgers moving some prospects. I think this idea was maybe floated on MLB Network, but I mean, I wouldn't mind the Dodgers moving some some prospects that really aren't going to be a little squeezed out. Moving some prospects for like a Shane Bieber and a uh, and a Class A, the closer out there. If we're thinking back into the rotation, I think the Dodgers have tried a. Uh, I've tried that sort of closer by committee sort of thing for a little bit, but if they kind of get a traditional closer at the back end of the rotation, the back end of the bullpen, I think that would be nice. Shane Bieber, of course, would settle nicely into that, that rotation. And guys who are coming back from injury like Walker Bueller probably, probably does not have the pressure, as much pressure to kind of force things, which is also good. Here's another Oriole autograph. Enrique Bradfield Jr. Kime. The first round pick. The paper Paul schemes. So we'll see. I don't think the Dodgers are done yet. I feel like there's a lot of free agents that, that, that are going to be signing soon. And I feel like there's going to be some more trades that are going to happen before, before pitchers and catchers report. Yeah, wh what do they do with Diego Cartaya? That's what I thought the plan would be. I think the plan would have been move Will Smith to DH, but now that that spot's blocked by Otani. I, I mean, it, I guess it depends on how they feel about because eventually Will Smith is going to have to get paid at some point too. You know, do the Dodgers have have the money for that? If Diego Cartaya is ready, do you do you start working him into this into the system? There's Jake Cunningham again to 199. I'm sure Otani as a pitcher may have something to say about that. I'm sure he wants the experience of Will Smith. Possibly, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't care. Maybe it doesn't matter. You know, as long as someone's out there catching the ball <laughs> behind the plate. But like, I don't know. But then, but then I feel like the Dodgers have another catching prospect. You know, behind Diego as well. I feel like there's another catching prospect that the Dodgers have. So maybe the Dodgers can be like, all right, Diego Cartaya, off to Cleveland you go. 
Shane Bieber, Emmanuel Classe, it'd probably have to be a Gavin Stone, a Diego Cartaya, you know, maybe someone else, you know, that'll land those two players, they come back this way. I don't know if you remember, Chris. There, there was a there was a time where people thought Austin Barnes would be the better hitter between Barnes and 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 um, between Barnes and uh, Will Smith. See, Laranto, that doesn't ring a bell. I thought there was someone else, but there was a time when Austin Barnes was considered to be the better hitter than Will Smith, and Will Smith was supposed to be the better receiver of the ball. But I think I think that has. That has kind of flipped many years ago, of course. There's Cade Culler, 49 out of 199 for the Atlanta Braves. That's going to be for Robert. Second round pick. I think that's it. We've got a paper Langford. And let's see if we can close out with any parallels, any fun parallels here. No, it doesn't look like it. Nothing too crazy here, boys and girls. You know, but in terms of big name autographs or anything like that. But everyone on the list, part of the promo. And um, and we've got another two boxes in the store that are also part of the promo. We can keep hunting for Tom Brady's and other uh, big name prospects and stuff like that. So get after it, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.